Um, what I'm trying to talk about in this video is ranges. I think people have this range or that range, and that's why I'm making these plays that otherwise wouldn't perhaps make so much sense. All right, where's this guy from? I always check where they're from, Germany, oh dear. Here goes Jam, no. Nope. All right, so we've picked up um, top pair again. I'm gonna check it back, same play as we did last time, try and get him probing. And we can't. So we'll now bet the turn and see if we can get any value out of him. Yes, we can. That's a fairly awful river card. Uh, complete straights and flushes. And I'm going to bet it and then fold if he raises me. At this stage, I'm not getting called by a whole lot worse. So maybe betting in itself is not so good. But he could have some 10x like queen 10 or king 10. Please don't jam me. All right, that worked out okay in the end. And I think the delayed C bet got us a few extra chips there, which we might not have got if we simply bet the flop. Let's see what he does when we limp here. Does he attack it? Is he merciless? Yes, he is. Okay, good to know. So in the notes, I'm just going to write down ISO. All right, what's his opening percentage? It's high. Well, it's only one hand, so of course it's high. We're going to flat this, and now we're in a very tricky spot of middle pair, which I really dislike. So we're going to call one barrel. Ugh, that's actually a worse turn card. Please shut down. Oh, that's good. All right, so if I bet now, I don't think he can really call me. I'm going to check and hope that he bluffs and doesn't have a seven or an ace. If he bets like 140, I'll probably fold. Oh, 80, I've got a call. Okay, so that's why I'm checking there to induce the bluff. If I bet, he can never call me. Kind of cool, like that's a play that doesn't work so often. And then we pull out of the bag here and uh, it works on the video. Love that. I'm going to min raise this instead of uh, limping because he did attack my limp last time and I don't want him to jam. Nice. So I'm, I'm always thinking about whether I'm min raising or limping depending on how he's been reacting to me. So next time I get a strong hand, of course, I'll go, I'll go uh, limp it. And that does assume I'm going to get a strong hand. All right, this sort of flop at this depth is really going to hit his calling range. So I'm going to check this back. The advantage is I have checked back some really strong flops before. Oh, now I've got an open ender. And then, I, oh, it's really pooey. Um, so I need to be getting like five to one here. So that means 300, which is 180. Yeah, I think I get it if I hit. But now I've missed. I feel a bit poo. I'm not going to bother bluffing either. I'll just give this up. I'm assuming I was going to get the rest of his stack there if I hit, which is no guarantee. All right, another really wet flop. And he donks at me. I'm going to flat one and then see what he does in the turn. The donk is often weak, unless he jams me. Uh-oh. Oh, there we hit anyway, so that works. Well, we can't fold now. If he's got a flush, he's got a speed. And we get him. All right, so he had top pair. A little bit unlucky there. Um, let's see if he wants a rematch. No, he doesn't. All right, uh, let's go through the replay there. There weren't that many interesting hands, but perhaps a couple. And I'll see if I can get the thing up. Yes, I can. And I'll even make it full screen. Luxury for you people. Um, and then I'll try and get the right match. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a replay of fish. Um, the, reason, the reason being that uh, I normally use... Uh, what's it called? Universal replay. All right, so let's have a look at this. 
So here we've got the same play as last time where we check back and then bet the flop. I bet the turn, sorry, to get um, value and didn't get anything on the river. So that got us an extra 40 chips when he called. And the other really cool one is here. So we flat king queen, which is pretty standard. I'm a nit, as everybody knows. And then he checks back the turn, which I assume meaning means he's weak. Let's think about his range. He'll bet an ace again. He'll bet a king again, or a king again, ace again. Um, not a seven though. He'll bet a flush, of course. So that means that basically his range is incredibly weak unless he's hit some magical seven. Um, in which case, if I bet he's going to raise me and I'm like, oh no, what do I do now? And if he doesn't have the seven, he can't call anything. So there's no point in me betting. The only chance is me checking and hoping he turns his hand into a bluff, which he does. So you've really got to think about his range and think about, you know, how can I get the most chips from it? And what's the most sensible option for my, uh, my range? And in this river spot, it's nearly always, he's not calling worse. He can bluff, um, but he can't call if I bet. So therefore I check and hope he bluffs. And that works great there. There would be spots I would bet there, um, but not that particular one. All right. And then this final hand here, um, when he donked, it was top pair. I swear there's a video somewhere in Germany that all German players have seen, which tells them donk top pair because players will level themselves. And here I am leveling myself by flooding it and thinking that he's um, weak. All right, so we bet the turn here to try and push him off his air, which of course he never had, planning on perhaps barreling the river. And we hit the Miracle River, which gave us the nuts to his, well, not excluding the flush, you know, basically um, a better straight than him. A bit brutal for him, but I'm not unhappy with my play except for the fact that he's from Germany and these German guys always don't top pair at me and I always fall for it. So there's a tip. Um, if it was a blank river, uh, if it's a blank river, I put him on like 9x a lot and I'm not sure if I'm going to jam a blank river, I might give up. But if, for example, I can jam obviously ace, king, queen, 10. So I do have a lot of equity as far as... Um, as pushing him off once I've bet this turn. The only thing is I probably should have made my turn bet sizing a little bit smaller to give myself um, more fold equity on the river. So for example, if I bet on the turn, instead of 105, if I bet like 70 or something, that'll give me enough chips or 60, that'll give me enough chips that I might um, have a lot more fold equity on the river. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this short video for HUSNG.com. This is Mr. Dissonance saying, run good.